Are you struggling with a frustrating 301 moved permanently error while trying to set up ingress in Minikube? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together and get your ingress working smoothly. I completely understand how annoying it can be when everything seems to be set up correctly, but you still hit a roadblock. This is a common issue many users face when working with Kubernetes and Minikube. Let's dive into the specifics of your situation. You mentioned that you followed the Kubernetes tutorial for ingress, but when you try to access your application, you encounter a 301 moved permanently error. This can be quite perplexing, especially after successfully deploying your Nginx server and exposing it as a service. So, what does this 301 moved permanently error mean? Essentially, it indicates that the resource you are trying to access has been moved to a different URL. This often happens due to misconfigurations in your ingress resource or the way your application is set up. Stick around, because at the end of this video, I will share a crucial tip that helped many users resolve similar issues. You won't want to miss it. To address the 301 moved permanently error, the user should first check the ingress resource configuration. It's important to ensure that the ingress resource is correctly set up to route traffic to the NGNX service. Next, the user should verify that the ingress controller is functioning properly. This can be done by checking the logs of the NNX ingress controller pod for any errors or warnings. If the logs indicate that the ingress controller is running without issues, the user should then ensure that the service is accessible. This can be done by using the curl command to test the service directly. If the curl command returns a 301 error, the user should check if there are any redirection rules in the Nginx configuration. Sometimes, the ingress may redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS, which can cause this issue. Finally, if the user has added a host entry in the basic ingress.yaml file and mapped it in the hosts file, they should ensure that the browser is pointing to the correct host name. This can resolve the issue by ensuring the request is routed correctly. Fun fact, did you know that the 301 move permanently status code is one of the oldest HTTP status codes? It's been around since the early days of the web, now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user suggests that since you have already enabled the ingress add-on in Minikube, there may be a conflict with a manually deployed ingress controller. They recommend removing the custom ingress controller you created and using the one that comes with the Minikube ingress add-on instead. Here's the tip I promised. If you encounter similar issues in the future, Always check your ingress configuration for proper routing and host definitions. This simple step can save you a lot of time. And there you have it. With these troubleshooting steps, you should be able to resolve the 301 move permanently error and get your ingress working. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.